All right, so welcome back, guys. It's your man, JB, in a place to be. And today's video is going to be concerning a case audit. Actually, an audit of three cases. Uh, what we're going to look at is the problems that we tend to run into when we're scaling up capacity in the plant and what happens when multiple hands are in the pot, okay? When multiple people are working on the same case, all right? There's a few things we should look at, but uh, to get started, let's go ahead and click that like button. Uh, be sure to subscribe, uh, leave comments. Uh, let's get into it. All right, so we have a high density case here. We got uh, three fibers coming in. Well, three fibers at the case. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. Hmm. straps you know stuff like this you see it there's not much you can do about it the older a plant gets uh, the more you're gonna run into this multiple high density fibers going into the same case right so we can see uh, quite a few trays here what the hell? okay there's a, what is that, a 48 count? There's a 28 count coming in. Small count with a bunch of large counts. All right. See this all the time. People taking shortcuts. And, you know, for the most part, it's a good shortcut. Once these ports are open, if you don't block them, bees and ants will find their way inside. So why not just leave it plugged? Maybe someone could come up with a better solution. Uh, we can see that the screws, the bracket screws, aren't even fully engaged. These just popped right out. Like, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? You can screw them back in, but will they pop back out? We can see bare fiber, bare ribbon fiber going around the uh, perimeter of the interior of the case. Lots of jizz there. It's taped shut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything's secure, but the VO numbers are missing. We can see it on one tray, not the other, but they're missing on this one. Could cause an issue, but some information is better than no information, right? Uh, we can see one of the problems that we... Let me pause this. Should I pause this? I'm, I'm not sure. We can see one of the problems that we tend to run into when um, increased fiber counts um, are being pushed into an existing case. What we end up seeing... Let me just pause this. What we end up seeing is uh, text or even contractors, which are also techs, we can see that techs will use what they have on hand. That's not necessarily a bad thing until you run into cases like this. What we see is these single, these aren't even ribbon trays. What these are are, are, are basically trays designed for buffer tubes, right? The buffer tube would just fall into these small grooves and you know, click into place and then you would zip tie them accordingly. But in this particular case, we saw uh, a bit of fabrication, right? A bit of adaptation. We can see that the technician, uh, maybe he didn't have an extra case on hand, so he decided to just uh, use some felt, some sponge, zip curl, well, zip tie that baby down and, you know, let's keep it moving. But the problem that we run into with situations like these. Um, yeah, the job will get done, but when you go to put that tray back on, these are ribbons, right? So they're pretty stiff. So when you force that, so when you force that cover back on that tray, you're compressing the fiber, and we all know what that leads to, right? That leads to macro bends, right? Um, random fibers having excessive drop off in decibel strength in light levels, right? So. You know, we should be conscious of that, okay? Yeah, and if we look back at what we just saw, we can see that they're pretty crammed up in there, man. Pretty crammed in there. 
This is one of the problems we have when expanding uh, fiber accounts inside of a pre-existing case. The smarter bet would have been to um, just replace the case altogether. That leads us to another issue, right? <laughs> what if there's commercial customers on um, running through here? What if there's dark fiber going through here? You just don't want to take down circuits like that. So, you know, just be conscious of it. Maybe plan for, you know, upscaling the plant and, you know, that particular area in the future. But, you know, just don't get all crazy with it. Do what you can. Try not to take anyone down. All right, so here we're at case number two, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> we're at case number two. Once again, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, leave comments. We can see, again, uh, small counts as well as large counts. If I had to guess, if I had to remember, I would say that that's a one. These are two 144s and a 48 count. But let's see what we find on the inside. It's an old case. Yeah. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. This particular tray doesn't even belong in this sort of case. But in a way, it's not necessarily a bad thing here. Um, yeah, we can see random fibers uh, just scattered throughout the... Uh, <laughs> throughout the enclosure we can see old uh, AT&T no not AT&T Ameritech fiber with these uh, metal strength members which are notorious for uh, dulling your banana cutters so tread lightly guys you know but what what we're actually gonna look at here what the focus of this case is is this tray it's this tray this is your typical double density ribbon tray and it's double density for a reason in the regular thin trays yeah you could put uh ribbons in there but um you, you're not gonna have as much capacity because they tend to bow upward as you can see here it's a complete show but it works this is what 99.9995 uh, uptime looks like especially when y'all don't want to pay for none but here we go everything's held together by electric tape we can see multiple ribbon splices in here we can also see a few single splices you know all in all this ain't all that bad I I've seen far worse far worse this ain't all that bad we can see a little bit of carelessness though um you know, which is to be expected. Double density ribbons. It's to be expected. No big deal. No big deal. Not much slack in the case. Maybe some emergency work needed to be done. I didn't do this. As far as I can tell, I didn't do it, man. Let's look a closer. Let's have a closer look. We can see... Um, you know, let me pause this right here. <laughs> so, I wasn't always the perfect splasher that I am now. The awesome technician that I've become uh, was, was a journey of many failures, right? But if we look here, right, we could see one heat shrink, two fibers going into it. We can see the red and black fiber going into it. And the guy who trained me, this is his handiwork. This is actually his signature, right? Couldn't figure out how he did it. Me and my buddy Dave keep trying to replicate this guy's uh, craft, but, you know, we're unsuccessful. I guess it is what it is, but that's how I know he's been in this case. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, we can see that uh, one heat shrink is not like the others. One uh, has not turned color like the other ones have, right? So somebody's been in this thing recently. Not exactly sure who, but that's irrelevant. But they're able to keep the case intact, largely intact, 
Which is okay. Which is okay. And just another look at this uh, heat shrink. Taped to the bottom. And then we can see a, a bundle of single splices taped to the side. It's not all that bad, you know? It's not all that bad. Until you try to take everything out. Yeah. <laughs> then it uh, goes from okay to, you know, you do an excellent work. cluster fuck. Because then you start seeing fibers interweaving between other fibers. Just massive headache. Massive headache. But all in all, this one was still good. Well, it, it was satisfactory. Now, this is the most recent one, right? Same kind of case, same kind of enclosure. But let's have a look inside. If I can get it open. Yeah, let's use the proper tools, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right here. Oh, that's me. It's playing in the lens. But right here. Right here. This is how this case should look. Right? We got two large counts coming in. I think both of these are 144s. And um, that's it. It's just a trunk case. That's it. That's all. One tray. Uh, a few splices on the inside. Very clean. Very nice. Yeah, man, so that, that's about it, guys. Don't feel self-conscious about how craptacular you're gonna leave that case. In some cases, you have to work with what you have. No big deal, man. All right, so if you guys enjoyed the content, go ahead and uh, hit that like button, subscribe, be sure to leave a comment. Um, thanks for joining me, and you guys have a nice one. Peace.